Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading. It's going to be for November and today we're taking a look at the connection that you're dealing with and your career, okay? Messages that you want to, that you need to hear right now. Abundance was trying to say hi. Um, so keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other signs. But if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe and comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Because it really helps the channel to grow, all right? And when we're talking about love, uh, the worlds could be reversed, okay? So always take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's see. So for the overall energy, we have impartiality, passion, all right, and grief. Ah, oh, but I actually feel like it's a good grief. I actually feel like because it is um, balancing your life, you know, and I feel like you're growing because of that with this growth here i do feel like uh it was an emotion or um i don't know there may have been a situation that you weren't completely facing and so you weren't really facing your feelings and now i feel like you are so i feel like it's actually good grief i don't see you suffering a lot like serious pain um i see you more has release has completion has possibly closure you know um, so that's actually pretty positive and we have that passion there uh, so you're following a lot of passion you're following a lot of uh, your dreams okay and things are I feel like things are just balancing I feel like that is the main um, feeling here but let's see what we have for love okay so we have flirt there is a passion all right, we also have retreat and oops, release your ex. There is that, that closure there. You may actually find someone new uh, that is going to trigger this grief, this release, this closure kind of thing. So again, I do feel like it's very positive. If this is someone that you are already dealing with, imagine that you're already in a relationship with this person. It's a good closure. It's, it doesn't mean that relationship is going to end or anything like that, but it's a closure of a toxic cycle, a toxic pattern with this codependency. And you're starting one more balanced, a healthier one. All right. So let's see what we have from the tarot. And I do feel like you're going to need a little bit of time for yourself, okay, for you to think things through. But let's see. So we have the Six of Cups with, uh, yeah, with Justice, a lot of balance, and the Three of Cups. So this could actually be a reconciliation here. Um, and I'm not really sure if you want the reconciliation, but uh, it's it's nothing. You may even want the reconciliation, but it's not a reconciliation. You want something new. It's not a let's start over. It's let's start. Let's actually start. Let's finish with all these toxic patterns. Let's release who we are, who we were. Let's release the relationship we had. Let's start it over. Let's start something new. So there is that sort of uh, releasing your ex, releasing the relationship that you had, and getting that closure finally. Okay, because this with the six of cups, there is definitely if it is like a past life relationship, then karmic cycles around the two of you. Are ending and you're being able to be together okay and I do also feel like you may want to start things slowly like okay let's start with you know that flirty sort of energy let's start slowly let's be friends let's see where things go and not really rush things so let's see what we have for you we have the knight of cups ten of wands for your person and where this is going the page of pentacles yeah so it's a new beginning. It is starting over. Uh, I really, really like this. So you're, I feel like you're opening your heart a little bit more. And I don't feel like it's necessarily to the relationship. Again, I feel like it's to you. You're facing your feelings. You're finally facing this closure. I feel like you're finally realizing that how things were, it wasn't good. So you're creating a lot of balance. For your person, I feel like they... Uh, they have the heavy work <laughs> because you're facing emotions them i feel like they are really facing patterns especially having that ten of wands uh, i feel like they are really trying to put an end to toxic cycles or toxic patterns and behaviors that's that's the thing behaviors 
Okay, but let's get some clarification here. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me actually get one more for what happens after. All right, but yeah. So, uh, let's actually start here with the bottom, with where this relationship is going. So things weren't on, and they are not on a very good note with this four of cups i feel like you're getting tired of this person's bs <laughs> to be honest i feel like it's that closure thing you need closure you need to walk away and so you will and i feel like you are doing it and because you are getting into this connection with yourself with this queen of pentacles here it's that thing you're opening up to yourself you're facing your feelings you're creating balance within yourself because of all that you're manifesting new things. You're manifesting a new beginning, a truthful new beginning that resonates with you, that resonates with the things that you want. Be it a new person or be with this person, a reconciliation here. Uh, I do feel like it may take a little bit of time, okay? I don't think it's going to happen overnight. Uh, possibly like until the end of November, things are going to be very slowly. That's sort of what I'm getting. But they could definitely go into a more stable and balanced a lot a lot of balance here okay especially from your person side they have the three of wands and justice clarifying their ten of wands i feel like for some time uh it's not that the problem was with you but they wouldn't see the problem in themselves they wouldn't see their behaviors they wouldn't see their baggage, the thing that the toxic things that they were bringing to the relationship, you possibly were bringing toxic things too. But I feel like you were you were already dealing with that. You're already done with that. You're already healed because you started with this Queen of Pentacles. You started a lot of self work and a lot of balance, inner balance. So you're good to go. Them, I feel like they will take. It will take a little bit of time for them to realize that they have issues too. That they have stuff to take care of, they have stuff to balance, but I do feel like eventually they will. So let's pull some messages and advice here for you. Okay, so by the way, bubble bath and face mask just flew right off. So a lot of relaxing needs to happen. Maybe you're overworking. Hmm? It could also be just like, hey, just be chill, just do your own thing, just keep with that queen of pentacles, you know, take care of yourself, don't overthink things, and just be, you know, just exist, <laughs> just exist. Uh, we also have do something that matters, stop. I feel like in this, I really feel like it's connected. Like you may give too much to other people and when this person, things may start to evolve and everything and you may want to help them get clear of this baggage, may want to help them with this ending, don't, okay? Give to yourself. Now is the time for you to keep with that Queen of Pentacles. Giving to yourself, not to, to others. The Queen of Pentacles does give to others, but not as much as she gives to herself, all right? What are your dreams telling you? I feel like your dreams are really important, so keep a dream journal around there because you're receiving messages, healing, keep an open mind, okay, meditation, rewrite your story. This one is really important, so if things in the past didn't work, let's not repeat those mistakes, let's not repeat those patterns, let's not repeat those actions. Ground yourself and follow your intuition above all when it comes to this. All right. I really feel like you're sort of empowering yourself. And I do feel like you're a different person now. One that respects you respect yourself, you know? That's really nice. So let's move into your career. Alright, let's see. So we have gossip here. We have self-worth. Nice. And quest. So there may be people that not necessarily that they don't support i feel like they don't understand you that's more like it they don't understand you they don't understand why you're doing something they don't understand your decision making but the thing is you know exactly why you're making those decisions with this wisdom and this mysticism and growth it's like you know exactly where you need to go because you know exactly what is going to bring balance and what is going to bring money 
but it's going to bring abundance because you're following your intuition and you're trusting that you're trusting the process you're trusting the universe that the universe will bring you whatever you're wishing for because you're making the decisions that you're making you're making them from within you're making because you know you're worth that and you know that it's where you should go and where you need to go and with this quest here it may not be an easy task but you're going for it it's an adventure i'm ready for anything give me anything i'm ready you know so let me whoops let me pull some tarot into the mix i really feel like you're you're in a really good path so don't let others take you away from that let's see whoosh three of swords oh okay three of swords five of wands a lot of conflict a lot of other people talking and trying to tell you that oh hey you should go that way and that doesn't make you happy because it's what they are saying it's not what you want right but you're moving away from that towards where look at this temperance justice uh king of pentacles we also have the four of swords a lot a lot of healing and a lot of no i know what is best for me with this king of pentacles here i know what is best for me i know where to go i know where i want to lead my business i know where what i want to do with this product or whatever you know you're doing a lot of stuff for yourself and not for other people's sake all right so let's see you have the seven of cups you may be a little lost you may actually try and get opinions from other people don't you have everything you need right inside of you all the answers that you're looking for are right inside of you okay you may not be sure about where what path to go trust just choose one and go you either find a lesson or you find success and that lesson will then lead you to success okay so for your focus is the four of pentacles your block is the ten of swords and for the month of november scorpio season absolutely with this death card here a lot of transformation and i feel like it's a lot of oh my goodness look what's right ah oh, jesus i keep pulling them <laughs> look what's right here oh that's so beautiful ten of cups ace of wands uh chariot this is all for november seven of pentacles star ten of pentacles a lot of money a lot of happiness a lot of new beginnings a lot of movement a lot of growth especially a lot of growth because you're doing things for yourself okay so on your focus we have this four of pentacles be sure to hold on to your beliefs. Be sure to hold on to the healthy ones, okay? There are some stuff that you may need to let go. Uh, but be sure to hold on to your ideas, especially. And trust yourself. Trust this passion, okay? Also, save up. I don't feel like this month is the month for you to do a lot of um, expenses, okay? Save up. Uh, or invest, you know, it's unnecessary expenses, that's more like it, because if you need to, in to invest, if you feel like the, the um, that, that is a path that you should take, then I feel like that is a good thing, uh, but unnecessary expenses, try to avoid them, all right, but your block here is this ten of swords, I feel like you're afraid of letting something go, possibly of letting your peers your family your friends go letting their opinion go and truly trusting yourself going through the path alone going through this quest this adventure alone i feel like that is something that you're scared but i do feel like it's something that you have to go through all right but let's clarify the 10 uh, let's not start here let's, let's clarify the seven of cups Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, yeah. The Ten of Cups, you are on the right path. Look at this. Bottom of the deck energy, again. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Star. Six of Wands, Success, Two of Cups. A lot of love for you, what do you do? It's about, you're resisting it a lot. Because you may be letting people get into your head. You're maybe listening to them. And that is actually blocking you. That is actually blinding you. Whatever they're saying, it's blinding you. Okay, so let me clarify that Four of Pentacles on your focus. So 
you have the six of wands and the emperor yeah it's like stand your ground okay stand up for the things that you love stand up this page of cups is turning to a queen okay small things are turning into success so hold those ideas stand up for those ideas all right because I do feel like it is going somewhere really great. So let me see the six of swords, the ten of swords, sorry, for the block. Hierophant, yeah. <laughs> Knight of cups and nine of swords. And the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles are uh, bottom of the deck. So you may be scared of going through a path. It may be growing slowly but it is growing and you're like your family might be like hey that is when do we see like the millionaire idea that you have where do, when do we see that being a success and you're like man maybe maybe i shouldn't be doing this maybe it's not the right thing you start questioning a lot you start thinking right now you're thinking and not feeling okay follow your heart you're letting your family and the people around you that are so to be honest close-minded they don't understand. If they don't understand, you can try and show them. If they still don't understand, okay, move on with your life. And do things for yourself. Don't let them get to you. Follow your heart. I really feel like you are on a very good path here. So keep fighting. Hold those ideas. Don't let them go. All right? So let's pull some advice and messages for you. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, let's start here because this is perfect uh, about because of what we have been discussing. Small things matter too, okay? It may be growing very slowly, but it is growing. So accept it, enjoy it, okay? Look around, there's something you're not seeing. Uh, you are not alone and everything is going to be okay. You are definitely on the right path, all right? And listen to your inner child, and healing okay i'm going to link down below an inner child meditation but it's amazing and you do have you may have some inner child um or some beliefs some issues that you've created from your childhood okay something around your childhood or around like your journey to this point that you need to heal okay that you need to release that you really need to put an end to because that is blocking you internal factors definitely keep an open mind Yes, this is real. You are going on the freaking right path. Okay, so don't you dare give up. All right, so Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. hope it helps somehow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.